turned Simon's invariance, about 10 years later, the physicists got a hold of it. And it, it seemed to be very good for what ailed them, or whatever what might have ailed them. And so, and it wasn't just string theory, as I subsequently developed, it was kind of all areas of physics, including condensed matter theory. Even some astronomers seem to want to look at those terms. That's really what's great about basic science, in this case, mathematics. I mean, I didn't know any physics. It didn't occur to me that this material that Chern and I had developed would find use somewhere else altogether. This happens in basic science all the time, that one guy's discovery leads to someone else's invention and leads to another guy's machine or whatever it is, uh, you know. So basic science is at the, it's the seed corn of our knowledge of the world. And I really like the, uh, I really like the results. I, I, li I love the subject, but I liked it for itself. I didn't, I, I wasn't thinking of applications. I mean, almost the nature of basic mathematical research is you can't really know where it's going to go. That's right. That's right. So, what are you? Do you just are you are you throwing money at a wall and seeing what sticks, or like how targeted are you about well, it? Well, to some extent, yes. Uh, we have investigator grants which give outstanding mathematicians and physicists and computer scientists uh, a ten-year run, where they they have support for for 10 years, and they can use that money to, uh, for a postdoc or something like that to help their work along. We don't know what work it's going to be. We, we have no idea, well, we know what the guy has done, but it's, it's, it's not, these are very, very competitive, and they're just the best people, and it's helping their careers, whatever they might do. This model of philanthropy, of, of supporting the basic research and not knowing where it's going to end up, almost seems the opposite of what you were talking about with your business. Totally. You were talking about with business, you know, revenues and costs and yeah. making sure. Yeah. How well, yes and no. When we would bring smart guys into Renaissance, we didn't know what they were going to do. We hoped that they'd come up with some good ideas to make the firm better. but. I didn't say, oh, this guy is going to discover, I want this guy to discover this thing. I don't know what he's going to discover. Uh, so, but it's, uh, it's of course very focused on a narrow set of outcomes, whereas uh, the other basic science, anything goes, is, uh, is very different from that. Basic research is, as, as I have said, the sort of the wellspring of knowledge about our world. And uh, but the federal funding for basic research has uh, become restricted. For one thing, federal funding for science has come down anyway overall. And second of all, there's an increasing tendency for these agencies to fund what's called translational research rather than basic research. Translational means Okay, you're working on cancer, great, you know, we're going to have a, a cure for this in three years. Yeah, okay, fine, we'll give you money. You're working on how the basic cell is working, uh, well, you know, uh, the, the applications are too far away. So there's less, the Congress pushes the NIH and the NSF too probably to, hey, you know, we want to see some return on this money. We want to see results. So. The government's not doing such a good job at supporting basic science. And um, so there's a role for philanthropy, uh, uh, an increasingly important role of, uh, for philanthropy. Do you give your money to basic research because you feel somehow indebted to it for your own success? Or do you do it just out of like a belief? Or do you, do you feel like you're giving something back to, us, to what gave something to you? 
Well, that's an interesting question. I do it because it feels good. I like science. I like to see it flourish. I like to be around scientists. I, I like to learn some new things. And my wife feels the same way. She loves science. So uh, we're very happy to, to do this. Do I feel I'm giving back? Not, not especially. Uh, you know, uh, I could give back in a lot of ways. There's a lot of things I could do besides support science.